Welcome to the Millionaire Hack Show, and I'm your host, Dan Young. I want to be rich and have lots of money and cool things. Or I want $1 million. If I'm 30 years old right now, and I want $1 million by 65 years old, that's $7,300 a year, $608 a month, $20 a day, that's $2.53 an hour at 7% annualized return. What sounds better to you? <laughs> to learn to hack your business and life and make millions of dollars, you need to write down where you want to be financially, physically, and personal development and spiritually. It's very, very important to write this down. And I'm going to give you a few examples um, of my personal story about goal setting. You know, um, one of them was a million dollars. How to, how to make a million dollars. And so, the key was for me, in my experience, is to be very, very specific and write those things down. I created a, um, an investment plan where I was investing a certain amount every single month into my investments. And I broke it down like I just showed you by, by year and then by month and by week and, and daily and by hour. And what was really great is um, my income started increasing exponentially during that time. So I kept increasing actually that amount and I adjusted some of those goals um, because my income came in better and I actually achieved them much faster than I thought. Another one was physically. I was overweight, um, 235 pounds and I wanted to get down to 195 pounds. The catalyst to that is I went to the doctor and they checked my blood pressure, my cholesterol and my blood sugars and they were out of control. They were gonna give me like six different kinds of medication. And I was really, really nervous about that because I was pretty young. I was in my 20s. And um, I specifically wrote down what I had to do very clearly um, to do that. And I wrote down that I had to go to the gym and literally lift weights three days a week, back and buys, chest and tries, leg day. And I had to hire a personal trainer um, as well. And I also had to watch my diet. So I actually uh, got this calorie counter and I counted my calories and all these things. And literally within six months, I hit my goal of 195 and my levels got a lot better. So that was another thing. Another problem that I suffered with was um, anxiety attacks. Um, I would wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat or just be driving down the road and get massive anxiety attacks. And it was very, very frustrating. And, um, I wanted to figure out how to cure those things. And, and, and a friend told me meditation. So I told myself, look, every single day, I'm going to meditate for at least 10 minutes. And if I can get longer, or t a 20 or a 30 minute, I will, but 10 minutes at least every single day. And I did that. And those anxiety attacks went away faster than I even thought. My goal is a year, but it actually went away in a month. <laughs> and so checkbox that one, that was done. And then I added some more personal development goals. So the point is here is to learn to hack your life and your business to make millions of dollars. You need to write down where you want to be very specifically uh, financially, physically, and personally. And, and personally, what I mean is personally, spiritual uh, development, um, all that kind of stuff is that those two things are kind of, of the same and you can put multiple goals as well. And why is this important? Well, without a clear target, you're never going to achieve or move at the pace that you want to move. I know what you're thinking. Uh, I've got it all in my head. I'll get to it later. I'll get to it tomorrow. And, and for so many years myself, I, I neglected to write down these goals. And I was wondering why they weren't coming to pass and why I was freaking broke and depressed and fat. Well, as soon as I wrote down these goals, they became real. And so there's this saying, if it's not written, well, it's not real. If it's not written, it's not real. So you need to write this down. And not only do you need to write this down, you need to look at it. First thing you wake up in the morning and use the bathroom, just scroll through it on your phone. I, I, that's where I like to write down my phone and scroll through it and, and look at that. And even if you read it out loud, that's going to reaffirm your goals and you're going to achieve them much, much faster. Um, so to learn to hack your business and life to make millions Again, you just got to write down these goals if you want the financial, the physical, and personal development success. And um, here's, here's an important thing, though. You need to be very clear on your outcome. You need to break it down by year, month, week, day, hour. The more specific you can be, uh, the better. And this, this applies to actually the goal itself. So if one of your financial goals was to buy 
um, uh, uh, multifamily uh, unit investment or a home or whatever you, you want to look at getting. Be very specific. Where is it? How much is it? How many car garages is it? Uh, how many square feet is it? Uh, how much is it get? What's the interest rate and what are the terms? Like be very specific on what you really want. And you also need to write down your pain and your pleasure. So for example, if you had a financial goal of a million dollars, right? And you were saying, look, I want to have that by the time I'm I'm retired at 65 or whatnot, okay? Um, you got to put in the pain and the pleasure. And let me give you an example of pain and pleasure. One of the pains that you may have is, look, if I don't achieve this goal, I'm going to be working at Walmart and, and, and being a greeter. Hey, how can I help you? And eating dog food and living on food stamps. And then uh, my wife will leave me because I can't take care of the kids and the family for someone who can provide. So Dan, get your butt in gear. Uh, it needs to be that dramatic because it has to emotionally stir you to do that. Now, what would happen if you did achieve that goal? What are some of the good things? Well, I'd have uh, financial security. I'd have peace of mind. I could, I could do, fund any adventure that I want. I could take care of my family, my children uh, forever. I could send my kids to the best uh, living education in, in the whole world. I could, I could build an empire. I mean, make sure it's super compelling on the pleasure things. But again, you got to be very, very, very powerful and specific with those pains and pleasures. And again, you need to look at them every single uh, morning. Oh, here's an extra hack that you can add in there. Download a picture of your goals. Be very specific with a picture of your goals. So if it's a home, download exactly, go search on the real estate website and download a picture of that. Go to Zillow or whatever, download a picture of it and exactly what it is and take a snapshot and put that in a subdirectory on your phone called goals. So if it's a car goal, it's an investment goal, it's a home, it's an investment property, it's a physical goal. If you want to be really strong, download a picture of like Arnold Schwarzenegger at his prime or something like that. That's what you want to look like and, and make sure that you have that there. If it's a, if it's a bucket list goal, like going somewhere and experiencing something, download that place, that person you want to meet or whatever it is. Be very, very, very specific, okay, to do that. So let's, re let's, let's, let's recap this um, a little bit, okay, a few important things. Um, be very clear on what your outcome is. Uh, you got to write these things down. Be very clear, though, with what your outcome is. Um, break it down by year, month, week, day, an hour. Be very specific, right, on what is the goal, when, and how you get to achieve that goal. Uh, write down the pains and pleasures with each goal. Download a picture of each goal. And again, look at them every morning uh, when you go to the bathroom in the evening too. You can look at it a few times a day. And very important to, to when you hit these goals to check them off and, and save that, that you've achieved that goal, but set new fresh goals. Because if you reach a physical goal, a financial goal, or a personal development goal, you're going to hit these faster than you can imagine if you write these down and you're doing exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so friends, to learn to hack your business in life and make millions, you need to write down these goals, all these financial, physical, and personal goals. You deserve and have the right to make millions of dollars. And I want you to remember this, this saying. If it's not written, it's not real. I heard it from one of my mentors before, multiple mentors. They're like, Dan. Get it out of your head and get it written down because if it's not written, it's not real. Um, so what are your goals? I want you to write them down right after this podcast. Can you promise me you'll write them down? And I want you to look at them every single morning and in the evening, at least at a minimum, okay? So right after this podcast, I want you to do this. I want to thank you for joining me today. And I'll be back next week. If you found this podcast beneficial and it's helped you even just a little bit, please share it with a friend. Um, give it a five-star rating on iTunes again and share it with a friend. I really appreciate you. Thank you. And we'll see you again next week.